with Uko Pekka Lukanen, the OHL's most outstanding player and Sabres prospect. Congratulations on the award. Can you believe from one year ago deciding to come here that you're standing here now? Thank you and uh, yeah, it's been an unbelievable year and uh, for sure I didn't think that uh, it, it would be like as, as great as it has been. So uh, yeah, it's, it's been something, something else. How hard was the decision? to come over here and play in the Ontario League and leave home? Well, also, of, of course, it's a tough, tough decision to make that uh, do you want to play in Finland or uh, and stay with your family or uh, come here and uh, play in a new environment and new country. So uh, so uh, it, there was a lot of thought put into that, but um, in, in the end, I think it was the right decision to come here. How quickly did Sudbury begin to feel like home for you? Well, uh, I have said it many times, they had a really get great owner and GM there and uh, I, I, I was uh, in really good build family so those things they, they make it easier for me to adjust to the country and to the to the culture so uh, it was it was actually quite a quick uh, settling in for me. What did you like about Sudbury? What made it feel comfortable for you that allowed you to have the season that you had? Well it was it's quite like Finland uh, nature wise and there's a lot of open open space so uh, it, it didn't feel too, too different to, to home, so and uh, uh, we had a great team. I had really, really nice uh, coaches and really nice teammates. So uh, that, that of course helps me. How did the season come together as well for you? I mean, what I guess what were your expectations, and and did you manage to exceed them somehow with all the numbers that you put up this year? Well, the first thing we wanted to get is uh, it, it was a lot of games for this season and. Uh, for sure, I, I got to play a lot, which was the most important thing. But uh, yeah, it was uh, the expectations were just like to get to play the best you can, and uh, I think I achieved that too. But uh, the trophy vice and the awards I have been getting now, it's uh, that's something I didn't. It's going to happen, but um, yeah, it was an all-around great season. Mixing in a gold medal in the middle of it, right? Yeah, that too. <laughs> it's it's really remarkable everything that that happened, and yet here you are, standing and awaiting the next step. But that doesn't come easily because of the surgeries that you had. How are you feeling after the hip surgeries, and uh, and and what will your summer be like, along with your timeline to ultimately return to the ice? Well, uh, yeah, of course it's a it's, it's a situation where you don't want to be in to to get in surgery, but. Uh, it's done now and rehab is going really, really fine. And uh, the Sabres have been helping me a lot. And uh, GM Jason Potterill has been really good in uh, all the training stuff here. It's, it has helped me a lot. And uh, the, the rehab is in a good, good form now. And uh, we hope and I'm, I'm on the ice as soon as I can. How much was it affecting you at the end of the season? I wouldn't say it was affecting too much. Uh, and uh, I could still play with it. And uh, we had a good training staff in, uh, in Sudbury too, which helped me a lot. And uh, especially in the playoffs, you don't want to think it too much and just you, you can really play through it. And so uh, it wasn't uh, too, too big of a pain for me. We documented um, your relationship with Seamus Kotick, the Sabres goaltending development coach recently. You mentioned Jason Bottrell. What, what did you and Seamus, uh, you know, what was your season like together, the communication between the two of you that, uh, you know, maybe little things that he did that helped you along the way? Well, just to have somebody from here to call when, when you needed something, uh, it, it didn't matter was it on or off the ice, and uh, that really helped me. And, uh, yeah, him, him visiting Sudbury and just uh, having his uh, knowledge and uh, just help on the on the getting adjusted to the North American playing style. Uh, it really helped. You're wearing a cap that you bought uh, in Chicago during your draft year. Um, I'm wondering when you think about that moment being drafted and what your expectations were then. How are they different now that you've had this type of season and you've already had your first small taste of pro hockey experience too? Well, I never thought I would be first of all be in the OHL two years from that, but. Uh, yeah, it's been a different route than uh, I expected, but uh, in uh, no question, it, it has been a good road for me, and uh, it has worked out well. And uh, yeah, it was great to have the first pro game in Rochester and uh, spend a little time there too and get the taste of the pro life. Best of luck this summer in rehabilitation, and we'll see you in the fall. Thank you.